into consideration why some civil servants, top civil servants at the federal level, when they leave uh, service, you see properties owned by some of them. And when they are probed, you don't see how the embezzlement came, how they have misappropriated funds, it's difficult to trace. But of recent, some labor leaders in some federal government agency came to me and explained certain things to me. And that necessitated the bill that you see I, I brought on the floor of the Senate yesterday. Now, I don't want to preempt part of the content of that proposed bill to you. You know, when federal government, on a monthly basis, they release uh, allocation to federal ministries and federal passatas. Now, it is a right to life for somebody to work to be paid. It is a threat to life when a person works for 30 days and is not paid his salary. Now, one thing you cannot take away from this administration is that since Buhari government came into power, the first thing they did was to clear backlog of salaries. And they have been consistent with payment of salaries as at when due. Now, in most federal government agencies and passata, that's what they call cooperative society, where workers contribute money to help themselves. Now, my investigation showed that when these deductions are made, the money will not be remitted as at the time it was uh, deducted to To me, salaries will not be remitted. Eh? I mean, deductions will not be remitted from a worker salary. Okay? Now, what happened is that when workers' salaries are delayed, when government releases allocation, and you will not dispute the fact that government may have made sure in time past and presently to make sure that. Uh, allocations are released before 30th of each month. Under this government, there have not been any time that allocations of uh, meant for go agencies and government, state government, local government, were not made as a 20. They could be delayed for one or two days. But what, what are this bill is seeking, which I'm proposing, is that when salary uh, wage, um, allocations are made and they are not salary uh, deductions are made from worker salary. Don't forget that the salary of a worker is tied to loans already in banks. They take overdraft. Now, this overdraft is to be paid as at the date you have agreed with the bank. Bear in mind that your salary will be paid on the third year. Now, salaries should be paid on the third year because allocation normally comes before third year. But what the top management of ministries and passatas, what they're engaging is to connive with banks and keep this money for days. If you keep one billion naira in a bank for 24 hours, there's an interest on it. If salaries are not paid for three days, as at the time the money came, and that money is in the bank, make no mistake about it. The director of finance and to some extent the pump sec, they are aware that they, that money is spending that bank. So what happens? They go back and collect dues from banks. Now, you cannot fight corruption when this kind of things persist in a system. To you who are comfortable, you may, may, it may not make sense to you. In Nigeria today, savings accounts do not even attract their interest again. That's how bad our economy is. Now, when people are due to be paid their salaries, their wages, and you don't pay, the bill I'm bringing to the Senate is that after six days, that is six days after the end of each month, if salaries are not paid, the workers should be entitled to a minimum of 5% of their basic salary. Because you are not paying them and the money is in the bank. Bank is making money, making, uh, uh, giving some people interest for that money. To you it may not make sense, but I'm telling you from experience what is happening. Cooperative loans, I mean cooperative society in ma uh, major, in quite a number of ministries. When these deductions are made, that are meant to help workers, bank, their, their, their account department, they will not allow the bank to release the money. The bank will talk to them in the account department. The money will be hanging. So what happens? At the end of a, of, a, of a week or five days, there are commissions that are given to top government functionaries who have allowed 
deduction from workers not to be released and salaries not to be paid as at went due. In this era of social media, it is garbage in, garbage out. When federal government releases um, uh, allocations to, to, to ministry and parasitas, if you have committed star workers, within 24 hours, everybody can be paid. But they will not be paid because it pays people to keep workers' salary in the account of in, in banks and they go behind to collect interest. Now, why I'm tell telling you this is that the legislation I'm seeking is that when you delay worker salary, you have denied the whole family a source of livelihood. The man has taken loan in the bank to be paid on the 30th of the month. On the 30th, when that, mo that worker um, is not lucky to have a salary, if he's paid on the 7th, the bank will put extra seven days charges in the money, in the loan he has collected. Not the fault of the workers. Now tell me how such workers will be patriotic. How do you tell them not to be corrupt? If we want our country to be good, it must be covered by law. Why the developed nations, why they move the speed they are moving, is that you don't, you don't just do things anyhow. Everything is covered by law. If a worker is entitled to a salary at the end of 30 days, and you don't pay him for 30 days, at the end of that 30 days, subsequent days, what happened to the workers? A man has went to the bank, took loan, with the promise to pay on the 30 when the salary is paid. The wife has gone to buy things on credit. That on 30th, later my, the husband will be paid. The school fees of the children, they have, been, they have assured the school that on the 30th uh, will be paid. But some of them, up to 10th of the following month, they are not paid. Why? Because those who are charged with the responsibility of managing allocations from federal federation account, they sit on it. And that explains why you see some people when they retire, they say they own mansions. But you can't trace how they made the money. These are areas where people are making money. And we have a responsibility, those of you in the middle, those of us here, to see how we can make this country a better place. When I tell you that I'm concerned about the well-being of the Nigerian masses, I don't play politics with it. That is my upbringing. That is how I came up to this place. If I was not in the, in the, in the, in the call of agitation, I would probably not have been a UJ national president. I would probably not have the platform to be here. So I'm continuing with that spirit that brought me to this, to, to, uh, this far. And I'm begging you to do this. You may not need it. You may not need it here. But I can tell you that many workers, they are languishing in, po uh, in poverty and penury because their salaries are not paid as I as went due. Some people will keep workers' salaries. A, a federal government um, agency came to me. Their NUJ told me that their, their, their cooperative was kept for two months. That they, were not, they were not paid. What happened? Some people have gone to collect interest at the expense of the workers whose who, who salaries have been gathered. So this is my submission on this.